It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the town begins. <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly, to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We do-
You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? That key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Excellent! was a bit rougher than I'd expected. We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello?
Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Where <are> we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back then. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12, until today. Vault 12, thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you the might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. 
Let's see what we're missing, shall we? A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if Rebellion. things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? Rebellion. That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I suppose I'm on my own this time.
There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above the basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir? <coughs> I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. 
Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Better be Gryffindor! And one more thing. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectation. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. 
it. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying... Nice to meet you as well, Professor. I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Everyone's gone. gone. Better head to the Better head room. to the common room. I suppose some introductions are in order.
lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. I can't imagine starting a new school this late. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you, I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. You must be able to get away with anything. <laughs> the opposite, actually. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your Are back. Are you having butterbeer? For breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more well, work. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the it dragon? It is true. But I... we handled it very well. I'll say. <laughs> I think you've already earned a reputation for fearlessness. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that I'd matter. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? Well, good luck with it. Enjoy your first day. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. <laughs> Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh. Come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Your mother's right. Magical beasts are more trouble than they're worth. Ah. I think they can help us as long as we help them. They just take some getting used to. You'll have to get used to them. Otherwise, you'll have a time of it in Beasts with Professor Howen. Anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. 
and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. This doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. If you don't mind, I'd prefer to just forget about it. Oh dear, it must have been bad. I mean, of course it was. I know I would have been terrified. Sorry. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Are you sure everything is all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed, four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Do you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Simply cast Revelio on it. Revelio. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. 
You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way Thank here. You, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the we castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. 
It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Hello, Lenora. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting! I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. I should look around in case it's nearby. Lumos! Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Ha! Lenora! I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Here! Behind you! There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing Obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me.
<sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? That's it! Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game, Bata. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Is that all you've got? Uh, Levi's soul! 
Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. <clears throat> now, let's try something a little larger. Deflected your cast. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Lively duel. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. <laughs> This should be easy. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Potato. Complicate things. Super fight! Let me go! I'm not going to be too disturbed. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know... You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. 
Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't Have you and there? Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time I'd with like them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks.